condition called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is the third leading cause of death in the United States, claiming more than 120,000 American lives each year. In today's HealthCast, Local 10 Medical Specialist Christy Krueger takes a look at newly approved procedures that are helping patients breathe easier without invasive surgery. Decades of smoking took a real toll on Betty Jones, leaving her with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, and struggling to breathe. My breathing was just bad, bad, bad. That, that the quality of life just was just deteriorating. There's damage isolated to the upper lobes of the lung. And basically the upper lobe of the lungs are basically hollowed out. And so they're all damaged and scarred and they're just empty dead space at this point. Surgery to remove the damaged section of lung is invasive and risky. We found that surgically it did help their quality of life, but the downside of it was the whole post-op recovery time the recovery time and also the complications of putting someone who's already pretty sick through surgery also was another issue. Specialists at the Cleveland Clinic Florida became the first in South Florida to correct this problem with a minimally invasive procedure using one to four tiny valves like this. What we do is we basically place a valve into the airways of that damaged lung causing the lung to collapse and once that part of the lung collapses it allows the healthy part of the lung to sort of take over the space and now the patient has much more efficient breathing. For Betty the relief was almost immediate. I could feel myself breathing deeper and not not a struggle. And she's gradually cutting back her need for oxygen to just a couple of hours a day. I'm breathing better yes 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 yes. Well, this procedure is only for patients with one damaged area of the lung. And here's another interesting footnote to this story. The lungs have no pain sensors in them, so patients never even feel the presence of the implant. With your health news, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News.